All right, guys, welcome back to Pharaoh Iron and Customs. Today, I'm going to be, uh, first thing this morning, I'm going to go on and shoot some primer and some paint on the inside of those rocker panels. So hopefully this afternoon or tomorrow we'll get it put back together. I may wait till tomorrow and get the paint. Plenty of time to dry over. Anyway, so I um, didn't get the opportunity to get any uh, epoxy primer or anything like that. I'm really interested in the epoxy primer, um, although I've never used it. So, uh, and this was hard to find yesterday or Friday too. I was just gonna use a uh, etching primer and then we'll tape it off and uh, not put over any of the areas that uh, on the inside of the rockers. And I may do the bottom too with some uh, of this hammered paint. Uh, that's some tough stuff. So um, I know there's probably other options, but that's what I got. That's what I'm using. So anyway, I'm going to get this. Uh, um, I'm going to get some holes drilled where the spot wells need to go. Get this stuff painted up, you know, not really fun stuff. So I'm going to do that. And uh, when I get to putting the car back together, I'll come back. All right, guys, I did get back out here this afternoon. I'm about to burn this uh, inner panel in, tack welds. Um, if you haven't seen it on, uh, or if you don't watch Fitzy's Fabrication, uh, what I did was I painted it, but then I took a, a quarter inch bit and ground the tip flat and you can go right inside the hole and uh, give you a good spot to weld to. So I'm gonna get this burned in and then I'm gonna start working on that um, outside rocker panel and maybe we'll get it burned in here in a minute. Hey guys, it's um, actually Monday afternoon. I've had most, oh, well actually I've had the day off from work and I had a doctor's appointment this morning and I had to get a battery put in my wife's car and stuff like that. Um, so that's about all I've gotten done today. <clears throat> and hell, I was um, just watching the video that I shot uh, the, over the weekend and, and compared to last week's videos, my demeanor seems like it has uh, changed a little bit. I'm feeling way under the weather um i don't know if i'm sick um i uh had a slight change in some of my uh meds last week and i think it's seriously affecting me so um i'm gonna stop the video for this week um pretty much right here i'll catch you up on what i did yesterday um because i don't know if i'm gonna get out here tomorrow or if i'm just gonna try to take a couple of days and rest and um see if I can get to feeling better of course I got to go back to work tomorrow so um, you know there's that but uh, anyway so what I got done yesterday after I stopped was I went ahead and got the inner rocker panel put in and I put the outer rocker panel put in and got the line looking pretty good it's a little higher in the back than it is in the front, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Um, I put the uh, lower part of the fender in, and it's going to have to be trimmed to get it to, you know, finish. I ended up cutting that little lip off of there that they supplied. I think it's supposed to sit inside of the rocker panel, but the rocker panel has uh, lips that's supposed to mount to the uh b pillar so i'm you know uh, i'm not 100 percent sometimes how you know these it, i don't think it's supposed to go back together like the factory put it together with some of these aftermarket panels or that's not what they intended anyway but i'm gonna end up i think i'm gonna weld this seam up i mean there should be a seam there but i'm gonna weld it up because i don't want a seam on the car uh just like this is probably going to get rem removed and welded up and I may take that uh, rain gutter off of the car too I don't know but uh, anyway because this is a custom car this is not a restoration project so anyway um, like I said I'm gonna get better I try to uh, get a little rest if I feel like working tomorrow afternoon I'm gonna get out here and uh, try to get 
that uh, lower part of the quarter panel in. I've got to figure out what to do about the part of the fender that's missing. I'm not gonna order those panels. Um, there, you know, that whole panel is is uh, available on Shoebox Central, and I'm not ordering it. I'm not gonna pay uh, uh, $200 a piece for those panels. I'm just not gonna do it. And uh, so I got the metal to make these. Um, I cut this one out, cut the floor pan off of it uh, yesterday. So that's gonna be a video coming up. And probably Sunday's video is going to be finishing up that quarter panel um, and trying to get the back part of the fender straightened out. And uh, this will be, these will be next week's video. Um, I'm gonna fix that and go ahead and get the two back ones done because they're already out. The one on the passenger side is still in the car and I'm trying to get enough content ahead that when I'm working on the passenger side of the car that I'm not doing, you know, repetitive videos. Um, I ordered uh, parts today. I went ahead and ordered the uh, 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 front mount for the truck arms uh, to go in the car. I just ordered the she uh, pretty much the Chevy mount, you know, that would go in the truck. We're gonna make it work. Um, I ordered a set of two inch blocks. Um, I'm kind of almost concerned about how that's gonna make the pinion travel because it's, you know, actually above the travel of the, of the arm. You know, I don't know if that's going to make it do weird stuff, but, uh, you know, um, the more the arm is set in the angle that it's supposed to uh, set in on like it would be on the truck, which is more of a downward slope towards the back, then, <clears throat> you know, the better off um, that angle is going to be. So I'm assuming that as long as we have the pinion angle at right at ride height and we have the drive line i mean the drive line angle at ride height and you know the angle of the trailing arms right at ride height then everything should be fine so uh got that like i said got the u-bolts that, uh, that come with the drop kit and the reason why i went ahead and got that was because the set of u-bolts was ten dollars less than than the drop blocks was so um, if I decide I'm not going to use the drop blocks, I'm just going to chop those U-bolts off and, you know, use it without it. Uh, and I also had to order a set of saddles because uh, those are weird saddles on those trucks because they're, um, those arms, and you, when I get into putting the arms in, you'll see this better, but they actually are triangulated. They're wider out close to the tires at the back and the front actually comes up to the center and you know it triangulates and then it kind of works like a um probably like a like an old school wishbone well no not like a wishbone because it had a ball in it um <clears throat> anyway it, you really don't need a uh you really don't need a um sway bar on this it works like radius arms on the front of a four-wheel drive ford um, it puts the axle, you know, the axle is bolted solid and all the, and the arms actually work as a, uh, <laughs> I was just moving the camera. That's funny. Um, but the arms work as, uh, um, kind of like a, a sway bar, uh, or anti-sway or something. So we'll get the car running and see how it rides before we decide if we're going to go back with a sway bar on the back of it or not. And if we do, I'll probably use something off of uh, Explore. But anyway, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Everybody that leaves a comment, I look, I come home and see that little uh, notification. That I've got a comment. I, it doesn't matter, you know, if you're telling me about uh, somebody re responded about uh, where I could find some gloves, and uh, you know, s you know, some guys comment on a lot of my videos, and you know. But I, I thank you for those comments. It keeps me going. Um, like I said, I love seeing that little 
comment pop up in the corner saying there's going to be a comment. Anyway, about to run out of room on the uh, SD card, so uh, see y'all later.